What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I have a pretty cool product today. It is the Edjo Blue Switch keyboard. It's got 87 keys on here and you get this rainbow color effect. And I'm gonna go through all the uh, controls that allow you to do different lighting settings and control how bright or even turn the lights off as well. Mechanical keyboard blue switches are loud. So if you like that nice tactile clicky type you know, sound to everything, these are gonna be perfect for you. You're gonna absolutely love these. And a couple of other things to know about this keyboard is that it's constructed of aluminum alloy. So it's gonna be a little bit more sturdy, better constructed than a traditional plastic keyboard, which is always nice when you have that around here. You can see all that aluminum alloy on the sides. So very, very well constructed. Also, another thing cool about this keyboard is you can actually take off the keys like any other keyboard pretty much. But you can see, you can see it has the blue switches on there to indicate that it is a mechanical keyboard. The blue variety, you're gonna get that nice, you know, clicky sound, making it a true mechanical keyboard. The other cool thing about taking the keys off is cleaning this is gonna be that much easier. This is compatible with, I'm using it on a Mac mini right now, so it's on an Apple computer. You can also use it with PCs. So if you're a gamer and you wanna use the, you know, the, what is it, the WASD, you know, controls right there on there, you can uh, isolate those keys so they see they light up. So I'll show you all that stuff. But this is a USB keyboard, so it plugs in via micro USB right there. This cable is detachable, so you can detach it, attach it, whatever you want. And if you want to get a longer one, you're able to do that. It's the, the cord is not you know soldered into this. You do have the ability to, as you see right there, take it out and then plug it back in when you're ready. Also on the back here, you've got some nice feet. These feet are, they feel good. They don't feel like cheap at all. They're nice and like rubbery. So they feel like they're going to stick to whatever they go to. They don't feel like they're gonna slide or anything. I love that part of this keyboard. It's also very small and very thin. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of girth to it. And the one thing it doesn't have, just in case uh, you need it, is the numpad, meaning that, you know, some keyboards off to the side here will have the 10 keys, you know, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, one, two, three keys that you can mess around in here. Obviously you get the numbers at the top like you would on any keyboard. So if you need the num keys, then uh, you know just this one doesn't have it. Now let me show you some of the effects and how to control them on this keyboard. So you do have your keys at the bottom here. The function key right here, this FN key, is gonna be what allows you to go through the different modes and select some of the different things at the top where the function keys are, like there's controls to control your volume and your, your playback of, of media and things like that. So holding down the function key, and then you're gonna see this one where it says M on there. When you press that, it's gonna give you the different features of the keyboard. So this one kind of like pulsates, it goes in and out. It's a very relaxing kind of thing. It's almost like it's breathing, and it will go, and even when you type, it doesn't, you know, it'll keep doing that. You don't have to worry about um, that feature going away. Then you have this one that kind of like just goes everywhere, almost like fireworks, pom, 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 popping everywhere up, you know, giving you that, uh, the lighted up effect and, you know, showing off the colors of this keyboard. This is the lights off mode. So if you want to turn the lights completely off on the keyboard and just use it as a regular old keyboard, you can. And then you have this one, which just, you know, kind of zags back and forth for you to show off the colors and you know, give you a cool effect. Then we have this one, which pulsates and then goes, kind of goes back or fades out, I should say, and then goes back and forth. And then we have our standard one right here. And then you, like I told you earlier, you do have your WASD keys and then the arrow keys as well to control. It's like they're more for gamers, people that want to game, the escape key lights up. So it's kind of cool. Turns off all the other keys, but then keeps the gaming keys up for you so that when you're ready to game, you're able to do that. Go back to function and M. And then you have this setup as well, which I believe this is probably for gaming as well of some sort. I don't like gaming on, on keyboards. I like a controller, but uh, 
I guess if you know what this specific, this these lights are for, let me know in the comments down below. This is a really cool mode as well. You can see the keyboard lights are steady, but when you type on them, it turns the light of the key that you're typing on off. So it kind of follows the fingers, you know, where you are. Very, very cool mode. Now, if you want to make these um, lighter or brighter, hold down the function key again and then use your arrows up and down. So this is as bright as it gets. And then this, you can dim it, turn it off basically, or that's the, the, the lit, the less lit. And that's the, the most lit. Now I told you, you have some buttons up here that allow you to do different things on the function key. So if you hold the function key and then one of the F keys, for instance, um, you can control the volume or mute it or you know, kind of do whatever you want on here. So I love that, being able to control the volume. With the keys, you also have playback buttons and uh, stuff like that. Now, typing on this is actually nice because, and it's a little bit different. I'm used to having keyboard keys that are squared off. These are more circular cap keys, and they give you the ability to um, have a different feel. I mean, you're getting that nice tactile, loud, clicky, and I know I, I type like a chicken. <laughs> I'm like, I peck when I, when I type. It gives you that ability to do that. So very satisfying click. The ability to um, have the, the different colors on here is also great. I also love that you have the replaceable USB cord just because you know sometimes you want to be pretty far away from where you are. This will allow you to do that by getting a, maybe a longer cord because right now the cord's probably about three feet long, four feet long. So it's long enough to you know plug it into your computer, but maybe you want it to be a little bit longer than that. You still have that option to do so. It's lightweight. It's inexpensive too. This keyboard on Amazon, which I will uh, link down below, is 34 bucks. And at the time of making this video, you know, th it's 34 bucks. It might be cheaper, it might be a little bit more, but this is a solid gaming keyboard, great colors, very clicky blue switch uh, uh, keys that, you know, are satisfying to click on. So very, very nice. And I love that you have the ability uh, to, to kind of control what the look of it is as well. You get your Windows key if you're into that. And if you have a Windows computer, tap that. And your start menu will come up. So if you want to pick this up, I will link it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, this was the Edjo 87 Blue Switch keyboard. 34 bucks at the time of making this video. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.